let me tell you a little story about a man named William Howard Taft. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio, on September 15, 1857, he would become the only president to administer the oath of office to another president. Bred into a powerful family, he seemed destined for a life of success. Taft graduated from Yale College and Cincinnati Law School, where he developed a deep love for law. At 29, he married Helen Heron and together raised three children. He served as prosecutor and chief justice of the Supreme Court, making him the only president to serve as a Supreme Court judge. In 1909, William Taft was elected as the nation's 27th president. His appreciation for fresh milk led him to keep a dairy cow on the White House lawn. He was the first president to have a car at the residence. During his administration, he oversaw the addition of the 16th and 17th Amendments, as well as the admittance of New Mexico and Arizona to the Union. On March 8, 1930, William Howard Taft died at the age of 72, becoming the first of two presidents buried at the Arlington National Cemetery. And there you go, a little story about a man named William.